I, I even, this is a good tip too, to use your mini roller on the edge of here too. Yeah. To go over it, you know. Yeah, because you can shove that right up next to the masking tape and get a fairly tight line. Yeah, you can. So with that, that. That's another step, because sometimes when you're brushing, you could miss a little area, but. Yeah. Like I say, when you take the tape off and you're, you got everything exposed, you get the light on it, and then you run your bead of caulking and you do your final detail work around the window casing, uh, you can really dial it in nicely because everything's exposed to it. You get the light on it, and then you do your bead of caulking, which is usually your final step on painting around a window. Painting around a windowsill, painting around areas that, you know, on a window install, maybe they didn't get too close to it, or maybe there's a little gap, or maybe the age of the windows has uh, caused the gap to shrink up on you. Uh, caulking sometimes shrinks. So it's just a, a little small uh, solution with the caulking to run a big, big bead along there, small bead along there, and it just makes it a real nice finished look. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. Did you hear what he said? A small, tight bead. I don't know how many times I've seen around windows where there's a big, fat, ugly bead of caulking oh, around yeah. there. And wow. They thought, well, I'll make it smooth. Well, when it, that caulking dries, it's not necessarily the same color as the paint, and you see it all the way on your wall, and it doesn't blend in. At all. Yeah. At all. Or yeah. you see the edge of it, because they didn't wipe yeah. enough off. Yeah. All right? Small, tight beads around your windows, and you'll be good to go. Mm-hmm.